Hello and welcome, this is Doki Doki Literature Club and we're doing the side stories and this is Equals. Let's get straight to it. Begin the story? Yep, let's do it. Okay everyone, doesn't she say that at the start of every single episode so far? Uh, we're going to be taking a break from the usual activities today. I was thinking since people are starting to talk about the festival, it's a good time for us to go over the general direction of the club and after that. Ah, so this must be taken a year before. If it's in the same timeline, which it's not. I think it'll, he it'll help us figure out what to do for the festival, you know? Oh, sorry, and I already came up with a really good plan. Really? The festival? Will we actually see the festival? <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah, so what plan is this, okay? Oh, so the plan is this, okay? Oh, you and Yuri collect the information ahead of time on which clubs or classes are doing food booths. Then we take a map and plan the most efficient route so we can get to most of them before the lines get too long. Sorry, this is not about getting food. Hey, that has nothing to do with the club. Well, you have to let me finish. Alright, fine. Go ahead. Right, so basically, we ha get all get the food we can, then we all come back here and we all eat together. That's all. Wow, I got tricked twice by the same joke. <laughs> you fell for that. Boo, don't be a hater. It's not like you can come up with anything better. Look, even Yuri was thinking about it. No, no, I wasn't. Yeah, it's alright, Yuri. It's alright. I would really prefer to do something literature le related. Well, it is the literature club after all. We can eat together any time. The festival is a unique opportunity. Besides, it's been quite a while since we've seen any new interest in the club. Yeah, I was thinking of the same thing. We really get a shot of showing people what the literature club is all about. I'll tell you what, we can do both, right? We'll make time for your food mission and still put together a public event. Oh my gosh, yes! I was just joking, that's a really good idea. <laughs> well, I'm glad that's settled. I think the question is how to come up with an event that demonstrates everything you can get out of the literature club. Well, that's kind of tough, because everyone gets something different out of the club. Okay, how about this? We go around and have it. Each of us talk about how what we've got on at the club so far. That could really help us figure out what kind of reputation we want to build. Yeah, that's too embarrassing. Ah, but you have so much to talk about. That's exactly why. And I'm sure Nosuski feels the same way. Well, maybe. But I didn't plan on arguing against it or anything. I mean, it is the Lich Club. We talk about that stuff together, right? And the only way to get more comfortable with it is to suck it up and do it. Oh. Well, not wrong. I'm sorry for being resistant. Ah, you're fine, Yuri. It's not good to say suck up, suck it up because it sounds like their feelings don't matter. Right, my bad. It's just a habit I need to break. Well, anyway, who's going to start? I'll start. I was the first to join, after all. <laughs> Wouldn't that be me? You're the, no, you're the creator. No, I want to go first. Fine, fine, you can start. I don't mind. Yay! So... Gosh, it feels so long ago. I think I joined because I wanted to have fun sharing poems with people. It seems like it would be a safe way to express myself, you know? Like, if it's just a poem, then I can share it without feeling like I'm burdening everyone with my problems. And I thought it would be a really good way to get to know other people too. So yeah, I was really surprised when I walked in, I was just Monica. And she was sleeping! <laughs> Don't remind me of that, oh gosh. Yeah, but it seemed like so much fun to help start a new club. Especially since writing helped me so much, I wanted to see, I wanted it to help other people too. But it ended up being me who was inspired. Because I remember feeling like Monica was just so sweet and mature, and that I could trust her with anything. But it made me feel a lot, it made me feel less, a lot less alone, having someone who knew even the bad things about me. And at that point I knew the lunch club was going to be special for a lot of people. Yeah, I felt the same way. It really helped give the club a more cohesive vision. Yeah, and then Yuri joined. But she was so different from us, and Nasuski too. I think for Yuri, it really helped for me to take the lead before she was able to open up a little. And Nasuski is kind of the opposite, where she wasn't really ready to get cl really close to someone really quickly. I never really thought about that sort of thing. I really felt like I got better at understanding people's different needs. And that makes me really happy, because my friends are just the most important thing to me. And whatever new members we get, and whatever new members we get, I want to help them in those ways too. 
I don't know if I would have continued coming to the club if it weren't for you. Really? Mm-hmm. I know it wasn't too long ago, but it hurts to think about my behaviour back then. I was really short-sighted. The only reason I came to, was to find others who were into fantasy. I suppose that was my idea of making friends with people. And I remember feeling uncomfortable because you and I have such different energy. I have such a specific idea of the kind of person I would could be friends with. So when Saru tried so hard to get to know me, I felt like I was just wasting her time. I think I was naive to assume that similar interests were the key component of friendship. No, it's a factor, not key. Saru and I were able to be friends because she always thinks about the needs of other people. That's something I never knew how to do, or even thought to do. But I stayed in the club thanks to that, and started trying as hard as I could to understand people better. You really went above and beyond when it came to that. I was just super impressed. Well, I always hated that I didn't know how to behave like a person who easily, who is easily liked by others. Like the two of you can. And because of that, I spent so much time thinking about my own behaviour, and all the wrong things I said. But the whole time, I should have been thinking about other people instead, not myself. Once I started doing that, I was able to make friends with everyone else. And also, I discovered that sometimes I'm a better communicator when I take the time to write, rather than speak. It's so strange the way things turn out. It's so far different from anything I've ever would have expected. But I'm happy. I'm, I suppose we don't always know what we really need. Oh my gosh, you're so cute that I'm going to throw up. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, please don't do that, sorry. Besides, I'm not cute. Hey, isn't that my line? Oh. Well, for me, it's actually true, so... Oh, what are you saying? Nothing. <laughs> okay, i finished my part, so somebody else take their turn. My heart. Sorry, take some deep breaths. Okay, fine, I'll go. Yuri, I can't believe you complained about doing this and still went before me. What a show off. I was just following up on Zyri. It was the easiest way to get it over with. Besides, you left out the most important thing that you get out of this club. I did? Yeah, a regular supply of your favourite cupcakes. Oh no, I forgot that too. I'm a traitor to the cupcake queen. Neither of you are forgiven. Looks like Monica will be getting cupcakes next time. No! I can't eat that many cupcakes. I can. Oh, yeah, true. Only you can. Hey. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm putting off. I'm just putting off talking. It's kind of hard to talk about this stuff, but I guess what, what it comes down to is that I'm in such a better place mentally than I was when I first joined. And that's because everyone helped me realise I had some really toxic friendships going on at, outside the club. It was honestly a really painful thing to go through. Having to cut them out, it still hurts to think about. I'm sorry, Nasiski. It's fine, I knew it was for the best, and I was right. I guess for me it's all about the feelings. I was only ever ridiculed for having feelings, so I thought the right thing to do was just ignore them. It took me a really long time to realise that's not really how things are supposed to work. And I guess that's thanks to everyone who took the time to respect my feelings, even when I was being like the biggest jerk. And I'm really sorry for being such a jerk to everyone. I was really the worst. Nasiski's voice choked a little. We love you Nasiski. Yeah, we all love you. We love all of you. I just hate that I was like that. Everyone did so much for me and I could never do anything in return. That's not true. Nesiski, you've done a lot more than you think. This club really wouldn't have been the same without you. I mean that. Remember how gentlemental I was when you first showed up? It was like I couldn't accept anything other than my own idea of what literature club was supposed to be. Apparently that was more important to me than the opportunity to bring you some happiness. You really taught me that anything can make someone happy is worthy of respect. You've inspired me to start playing piano. That's something that means a whole lot to me. So there's a, no need to put yourself down. Okay. Now Siski wipes her eyes. You helped me a lot too. It's so much fun to have you around. And you helped me become a better person. And by reading manga. Having a problem doesn't make you needy or inconvenient. It means that there's something that needs to be better for you. And you always deserve that. I agree. Seeing us have some of the same struggles, maybe a better person as well. I wouldn't want to change anything about our time here. I don't think any of us would. I'm sorry, I got all dramatic again. 
That's all I wanted to say. So Monica, you can go now. There's no need to apologise. It was something I wanted to talk about anyway, because it made a big difference for me. I was always such a strict perfectionist, who never took enough time to believe in the best of other people. But everyone kept proving me wrong. I made the mistake multiple times thinking that my way was the best for everyone. Or thinking that I was needed to solve other problem, people's problems. But I think being a leader means that you have to acknowledge that you're not perfect. And the best thing you could do is help guide people. Rather than to do everything for them. We're all good people. We're all equals. I think that's the most important thing I've gotten at the club. Realising that, that what, what that really means. I need to speak better. <laughs> Sorry, what are you doing? I just thought we should be writing some of these things down. Things about the club available to us. With a piece of chalk in our hand, Zoe writes the words trust on the chalkboard. This is because you showed me that I could trust you with everything about me. Not just my good side. Ah, I see what's happening. Suddenly Yuri takes a piece of chalk as well. She writes understanding. I, I owe you a lot of gratitude to everyone who took the time to understand me. Even though it was so difficult for me to express myself. Hmm, in that case, Monica takes a piece of chalk as well and writes the word respect. I always thought I was a respectable person, but it took the, it took the club for me to realise that there was more to it than I thought. And I'm a better person because of it. I have another one. Sorry, writes balance. Sometimes people want different things out of a friendship, or they need time before they're ready to become close. So it's important to keep things balanced between you and the other person. That reminds me, Yuri writes reflection. I've always been a reflective person, but most of it has been nothing more than hating myself for all the things I thought I did wrong. Once I started reflecting on other people, and not just myself, a lot of things changed for me. So I think they're the most important. So I think that's the most important one for me. That's great, we have a whole list of things now. Suddenly everyone turns to look at you, Ski. Well, everyone took all the well, everyone took all the chalk. Don't look at me like that. Jeez. You could just could have just asked. <laughs> Monica hands her a piece of chalk to Nesuki. Then Nesuki sighs and writes, Self-love. I don't know how far I've gotten with this yet, but it feels like things are at least on the right track. So there, that's my contribution. Together, everyone stares at the words on the board. Wasn't this club supposed to be about literature? It is. Uh, yeah, we both said it. I, I just said it on my own, but okay, it is. We still have a lot of literature. Friendship and literature. Yeah, you're right. Friendship and literature. Nasuski and Yuri gently nod as well. Hey, let's all take a Hey, let's all take a picture together. We don't have one yet, right? Hey, hey, you're right. Make sure you send it to me after. Wait, can I brush my hair first or something? Oh, you're fine. You already have the best hair out of all of us. Yeah, yeah, you do. Hmm. Everyone get together. I can't fit you all in. Okay. Okay, ev everyone ready? And click. Boom. I'm really glad we talked about this stuff. It's easy to forget how far we've come. We've only four members. Yeah. I've had so many happy thoughts right now. I'm getting really some good inspiration for a pro. You know, I feel the same way. I kind of want to get some writing done. Me too. I think I would like that as well. Everyone looking at me again. Everyone's looking at me again. I'll do it too, but I might not feel like sharing it. That's okay. The four members of the literature club disperse and return to their desks, each equipping themselves with a pen. Nesuski and Yuri give each other a quick glance, then start writing immediately. Sayori so stretches and does the same. But Monica is left tapping her pen against the paper, unsure of where to start. Hmm. Just move your hand. Monica mouths to herself. Write the way into your heart. Hmm. She's got a problem. A mind full of thoughts, memories and inspiration, Monica navigates her past her mental barriers and begins to write. It doesn't matter what, just that it's something new. Oh, I like this music. Oh, it's at the end! Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Written and directed by San Salvato. I hope I said that right. Hey, hello! 
teams of Alto development. Sketchies. Second, I can't, I can't pronounce these. Sorry, sorry. I gotta do something quickly, so I'll see you at the end. Okay, I'm back and I completely missed what happened. <laughs> okay, I'll have to watch it and edit and make uh, any edits in post for that. So, okay, we've got a new mail uh, and new pictures. So, let's see what we've got. Oh, hello. Okay. This is what I missed. Everyone say hi. Oh, that's nice. And... <laughs> oh, Yuri. <laughs> Is that a moustache you got there? Mm. Ah, well. Yeah, okay. <laughs> now everyone make a funny face. Alright. Yeah, everyone did it. <laughs> but how do I unlock the rest of it? Interesting. Oh, what's this? Art oh, drawn by statue. Oh, in the credits I saw. Um... Finish all of the side stories. Oh, that's cute. Oh, wow. Nice. Wow. Whose hand is that? And that's Monica, isn't it? Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. Right, now, mail. Oh, new music. Of course there's new music. I can't tell. Dear Sunshine. But we've got new mail as well. So, let's uh, Ah, ethics. We don't have any responses. All a minor. Okay, let's see. Simply put, it's not our job to arbitrarily decide upon some code of ethics just because we're the first ones to do this. To our knowledge, it's the government's job to figure it out, long after we've made enough headway for it to no longer apply to us. It's fundamentally flawed to apply ethical reasoning to this anyway, because humanity's code of ethics is based upon nothing more than our knowledge and understanding of life forms similar to ourselves. We don't have ethics for killing bacteria or plants, only for the creatures that we can convincingly project our emotions onto. The humans in our MVs operate completely differently from us on a fundamental level, and therefore we should not be taken any more seriously than a machine that's programmed to print, I feel sad. We're engineers, not philosophers. Mm, nice song. Is that it? But there is more to this game, this is not the end. We still have more to see in Act 2 for Yuri Ryu and uh, Nasuski Ryu. So that will be my next project. I hope to get that done soon enough, so I'll see you next time, take care, bye bye.